Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be talking about um, MLM. So I'm feeling a little bit strange about it to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't know why. I'm actually not intending to mention which companies I'm talking about. Um, I will go into full detail about everything that I experience, absolutely everything. Um, I have been with four companies, as you can see from the title, um, but yeah, I'm not going to name names. If you have watched my channel for a while, one of the companies you will definitely know because I did kind of call them out. I actually did a video um, naming them. Um, it wasn't really name and shame. I don't think I was that bad. It was just my personal opinion on what I experienced and why I decided to leave. Um, believe it or not, they actually emailed me and told me to take it down, um, which I found uh, I was just gobsmacked. Um, the video had a lot of views. Um, it was huge. It it was really, really popular. It had a ton of views. Um, but the interesting thing is when they emailed me, they emailed my personal email address. So I feel like the person that um, reported it or whatever to the company I feel like it was probably my upline um, that's how they knew who it was otherwise I don't know I don't understand how they would um, personally email me um, rather than contact me through the YouTube route if that's how they saw the video so I feel like someone dubbed me in um, someone in my old team or something um, but like I say it was my opinion I kind of felt that was wrong actually to kind of email somebody and tell them to take a video down because to be honest like I said it was my personal experience there was definitely no slander there was no made up stories I didn't say anything to kind of harm the company it was literally just my opinion on things um, and I wasn't actually going to take it down and I thought you know what I don't want the drama um, I actually didn't want a negative video on my channel as well um, I try and keep my channel positive um, as positive as possible so um, I just thought you know what I'm not even going to respond to their email because I was so mad, I thought there's so many things I could say <laughs> back. And I was like, no, I'm just going to delete the video. So I deleted it. Um, and then I nearly did another video afterwards to, to say that they told me to delete it. And I just thought that's just like adding fuel to the fire. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the companies, one of the four. So if you saw that video, you know who I'm talking about. Um, so there are four companies. They are all well established. They've all been around for a pretty long time. I think about 15 years plus. Um, and so these aren't new companies, they've been around a while, well established, well known, um, and I've been with, like I say, four of them. Um, the longest one was a good couple of years, two, three years, and the shortest one was about four months. So, um, and the other ones was like a year, two years. So, decent amount of time. Um, I feel like when people do these videos, um, they are either, one of two things, I feel like they are either out to get MLM and they're just their video is just slating it calling it a scam saying all of these things negative and they've just got it in their head to begin with that this is going to be a negative video I'm going to put everyone off MLM and um, you know I'm just gonna slate it basically um, and then it turns out they haven't actually ever been in an MLM company which doesn't make sense to me I don't want to take advice from somebody that's not actually experienced it themselves um, and then you have the other side of people that come out and say, it's amazing, it's great, you know, it's wonderful, but they have a hidden agenda as well because they just want you to join their team basically um, because they work for them. Um, so for me, I'm kind of straight down the middle. I'm not here to sway you either way. I am simply just um, telling you my opinion, um, everything that happened with me within these companies. So you can draw your own conclusion with what I say. Um, so first of all, I want to talk about, first of all, network marketing. Sometimes I might say network marketing, sometimes I might say MLM, it's the same thing. Um, so I was, I first got into network marketing um, because somebody DM'd me. So this might have happened to you, maybe you, you do it personally to recruit. Um, I personally have never done this. Um, I don't think, maybe I did in the beginning, I definitely haven't done it in recent years um, and I have to say as well this is quite recent for me it's not like I did it 10 years ago I did it like the last five years um, so again it's all very relevant um, but the way I was recruited <clears throat> excuse me was on my Instagram so I had um, just a random message pop up saying hey hun um, 
it was so random. Um, hey Han, wow, you know, love your Instagram, you'd be great doing what I do. Um, I'm actually looking for people to join my team, blah, blah, blah. Um, what do you think? And I'd never received one of these messages before. Um, and so straight away I clicked on her profile, had a look, scrolled through, thought she looks nice, you know, she looks like a normal person, this is, this is a real person. Um, and so I replied to her and I said, okay, what's this company? Um, and she told me the company, as soon as she told me the company, I went straight across to the website and had a look um, to do my own research. I like to investigate and find out as much as I can about something if I'm going to join it, um, or if I'm going to show any interest. I'm not somebody that just says, oh great, it's skincare and beauty and health products, great, I'm, you know, sign me up. I wanted to know more about the company. And the company looked really great. Um, one thing I did notice is that the price point for these products were really, really high. It was actually the most expensive MLM company that I've been with. Um, very, very expensive products, um, like ridiculously expensive. Um, and it's because they say it's premium skincare, it's pe premium beauty, it's premium, um, you know, it's premium products, which I'm going to get to um, because there's a reason why they price it so high, which is another thing people don't necessarily realize. Um, so anyway, I was really excited. I said, yes, I'm in, let's go. Um, so then you watch this video and it's, or if you're not quite sure, you, they, they send you this video or you can go on like a call, like a Zoom call and you can hear about more about the company and it's usually the upline. The upline is either the person that signed you up or the person that signed them up. So it's kind of like a chain. Um, so in this situation, the person that emailed me or DM'd me, um, she hadn't been doing it very long. So it was the person above her, her upline, that was kind of the full on one, the one that was... When you're in MLM, there's always that one upline. It's either your direct upline or they're a bit further up. But there's always that one that does all the training videos that, that like motivates everyone, that puts out incentives, gives you prizes if you do really well. And they're the ones that you kind of look up to as like they're the god of the company. Like they've done so well and I want to be like them. So I was then passed on to her um, and I watched her video and she said about how she used to have a full-time job and it was very well paid. And she quit that and now she lives in a big house and she's got a nice car and um, she actually seemed nice. Um, it wasn't a braggy, um, it might sound like it, but it actually wasn't braggy. Um, she was just appealing to people to say, do you know what, you know, you don't have to, you know, be in the rat race. You don't have to have these jobs that you don't enjoy. You can work for yourself. So I was interested. Like I said, I liked the look of the products. I love products. So, you know, I was sold on that. Um, the commission rate. This is one what I want to talk to you about. When you see MLM companies, if the commission rate is really high, you might think, wow, that's amazing. They pay their stuff really well. All that means is, is that they're overpricing their products. Um, because if you think about it, if they are trying to sell a 30 pound mascara, for example, but you get half the commission, um, you get half the sale. Um, so you sell that for 30 pounds, you immediately get 15 pounds, then you've sold a 15 pound mascara. So instantly the price is slashed in half because they're already paying their staff. If they're happy to pay the staff half the amount than the RRP, there's a reason for that. It's because it's not really worth that. They just up the price of the product and give you a bigger chunk, if that makes sense. Um, so I soon got to realize that actually it's not necessarily a good thing when you're getting 50%, especially if um, maybe you've got friends and you're trying to sell them the products and um, also maybe doing a little bit of recruiting for yourself and saying, oh yeah, it's a really great business. You, you, you could join, it's 50% commission. At some point, people are gonna click and go, oh, 50%, oh, so you've made half. So it's not actually worth that. It's So I felt a bit iffy about that, knowing that my commission rate was so high I kind of felt like I was ripping people off and the upline would also say that it's you know this is the best company in the world these are the best ingredients it's all scientific it's all scientifically based and don't get me wrong there are some great ingredients I know a lot about ingredients because I've been in the beauty industry a long time um, but looking into it there was nothing spectacular in these products to warrant the price point but again the price point was there so that we could get the extra commission so I just felt funny about it and even with my 50% off, so if I wanted to buy something for myself, I could get it for half price. Even paying half price sometimes, I was like, I don't even want to pay half price, even that's quite a lot. Um, the price point honestly was insane. So 
that is something to think about is what's their commission rate if it's like 25 30 35 percent that's that's pretty standard but if it's like 50 percent that's a lot um that just means they're overpricing their products quite quite frankly um another thing that happens is when you um when you join these companies you get put into like a group chat um, and as soon as you join say you're on facebook um everyone adds you so it's like oh my god wow welcome to the team and everyone's so amazing and to be honest it is nice that everybody's so welcoming and everyone's great um and, and this happens with all of them um you get added to these teams um group chats and things so everybody introduces themselves wow you're gonna do so amazing well done um well done for joining um and then they add you as friends on facebook um and it's like to support you and all of this stuff and then what starts to happen is you can kind of you all follow each other and then you can all see what everyone's doing and the upline encourages you all to comment on each other's posts to make it look like you're interested in the product which I always found strange because again I like to kind of investigate what I'm doing and um, I don't know maybe it's just my inquisitive mind but um, say for example I was trying to promote a mascara on my Facebook or something I would put a picture of the mascara and say hey guys I've just joined this company look at this mascara it's really great blah 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 let me know if you want to order some and then I'd start getting comments below saying wow that looks amazing oh can you can I order one please and it's literally my team members um, that this is encouraged like the uplines tell you to do this um, so then it generates more interest and it makes it look like people are interested but honestly for me I just feel like it was so obvious because all you need to do is click their name and it literally comes up with their information and tells you that they work for the company and I just felt it was so dumb because it just made me feel like I'm scamming people because people are pretending to want to buy the products that's the thing about this like they, they are legitimate companies like they actually do have products to sell um, and the products do what they're supposed to do it, it is a mascara it is a lipstick it is a health product it is a shake whatever so it's not like the products don't exist and we're just trying to take your money like they do exist but with little tactics that they do they don't help themselves and this is where people think it's a scam and it's and you get sucked into it all you're trying to do is sell some products and you get sucked into all of this and it just then you become part of the scam um, but again it's not actually a scam so I would get these people oh yeah can I please have mascara oh wow that looks amazing and I'm just so embarrassed I'm like oh my god you're literally in my team you work for the company like I don't need I don't want these fake comments on my posts I'd rather just have no comments um, and it doesn't work as well oh yeah it'll get loads of interest it doesn't it doesn't make a blind bit of difference and like I said all it would take is one of my friends to go oh who's that I don't recognize them especially if it's Facebook you kind of tend to know each other if it's friends from school they might see that loads of these women have met have commented saying yeah I'd like a mascara and they're like I don't recognize them who are they click their name and it comes up with the company name that I'm also working for it's so embarrassing um, I was not a fan of that so um, another thing that happens in the team chats again this was across all four companies um, is the team chats can get really aggressive really bitchy um, really really crazy um, and it's not good um, and in the end I just stepped away from them because there was always some type of drama one thing I noticed as well is that if somebody leaves the company um, everybody turns on them turns on them turns on them <laughs> um, and it's because of the upline the upline will literally tell the team so-and-so's left so-and-so's done this so-and-so's done that block them like I have seen other videos on this as well so it's not just the teams I was in it just seems to be across the board that the upline will tell you to block the person that's left um, because they've done something terrible and you don't want to be influenced by them you don't want to associate with them and so everybody in the team will just go okay I've blocked them I've blocked them I've blocked them because number one the upline is put on a pedestal and everyone thinks they're God and secondly um, they want to support the upline they don't want to upset the upline so they don't want to like go against what the upline says so if the upline says block them they were blocking them I personally didn't because I was like hang on again my inquisitive mind I'm thinking well what did they actually do why why am I being told to block someone that I think's okay you know if I'm blocking someone it's because they've done something to me like if you've fallen up with them fine why do I need to block them so I personally never did that but what happened then I'm turned on because I'm associating with them it's like no I just haven't blocked them 
And it turns out that they, they want you to block them because they've maybe gone across to another company um, and they're scared that you might shift across to them or the upline's been acting shady, been doing dodgy things, um, been kind of unethical within the business and they don't want it to get out. So the upline might have been really mean to the, the person in the team or done something a bit dodgy with the point system, which I'll get into. Um, and they don't want it to get out. So they say, block, block them, block them. And that way you have no communication and you never know what happened. Um, so I've definitely seen that happen as well. Now with the point system, this is another thing is that when you sign up, you get your account um, and every time you make a purchase, either for yourself or your customers do, you get points, your points add up and that's how you get your promotions. That's how you get the car and that's, that's how you get all of the, all this extra money and all of this stuff. That is real, you can get a car. You can only do that though if you build a huge team. So the way they say, oh yeah, sell a few mascaras or sell a few shakes or whatever and you'll get the car, that is not true. You have to be pretty ruthless in this business to actually get to the top. Um, and that's not my personality. I'm not going to, tr you know, message like cold message another thing that i can't stand is the cold messaging um that's not me i'm not going to cold message anybody to try and get a sale or to try and get them to join my team that's not me either so i doubt you know the car was ever going to be for me personally um but you have to be very ruthless you have to you chase the points um and they always say there's no targets which mm, there kind of is targets because you are chasing the points to get to the next bit to get to the next bit so you don't have to hit the targets which is why I guess they say there's no targets but technically there is targets because if you want the car if you want this you have to hit certain levels and it's all about the point system it kind of reminds me of like the boots advantage card um, or like the Tesco club card or whatever when they reel you in with like oh I'm gonna get points on my card if I spend an extra 10 pounds or all you're doing is you're spending more money for these magical points which you don't don't need and you would have saved more if you just didn't spend the money in the first place, um, if that makes sense. So it kind of reminds me of that. It's just, you just want the points and it kind of becomes addictive. Now, this is where people, um, you hear things like people have got into debt, people have loads, lost loads of money. And again, people get confused. It's not because the business has come along and like the CEO has like ripped them off and like taken their money out of the bank. Like it doesn't happen like that. What actually happens is people get so obsessed with the points and they want the car or they want the next promotion. Um, the only way to get that is through getting more sales, either through you or through your team. And so people place loads of orders and they start ordering all this stuff um, to get to the points, to get to the next promotion so they can be seen as successful when all they're doing is just spending all their money on the products. And so that's how they lose a lot of money because they literally are just getting paid from their normal job and then they're just spending all their wages on their products um, and they think their business is successful because they've had all these sales when really it's just them buying the stuff. And after a while they look back and they go, oh my God, all I've done is pour my money into this business and I haven't seen the return. You might have spent a hundred pounds on stock, um, you know, or stuff for yourself. And then you might have had a couple of sales and you feel good that you've had a couple of sales, but then you've spent more than you've made. So it doesn't make sense. Um, so that's another thing I had to learn. I did get very carried away because each of the businesses that I joined, I genuinely did love the products and I would just throw my money at them. I was like, I need this and this and this. That's another thing they tell you is that you need to be a product of the product. So within the team, and another thing I think that's really toxic about the group chat, and it's very kind of, people have like described it as a cult and I understand why they say that, but you're in the group chat and if you don't have a certain product, you feel left out. You feel like you're not really taking your business seriously. You're encouraged to buy everything you possibly can. And again, this is how you spend all the money and how you end up with no money the opposite of what you're trying to do because you're pouring your money into it because they tell you to they tell you to buy this and buy that um, they say oh we're gonna do um, a product post and we I want the whole of the team to wear this face mask so that we can get pictures and it will look really great and it will drum up loads of customers and you fall for it so you buy the mask all that means is your upline is raking it in because all of her team are buying the mask so she's getting all the points and she's getting the commission of you buying the mask so we just think we're doing something as part of the team something fun something that's going to generate some extra income for us because we're going to get great pictures of the masks when actual fact the the team leader doesn't really care about that the upline isn't about that she just wants the points so she encourages everyone buy the mask we're going to take some pictures 
buy this, there's a new product coming out, buy it, buy extra, um, be a product of the product, everything, you know, ditch all your old makeup, only wear this makeup, and I get it to a certain point, of course you need to be a product of the product, of course you need to show the brand off, you know, you're not going to promote something and never wear it yourself, that doesn't make sense and you won't get any sales because it's not genuine, um, but at the same time they encourage you to just completely pour your life into it and kind of ditch everything else and just do that and again that's how you can lose money. Um, and like I said, you feel like the, the odd one out. If everybody's got this, the new lipstick that just came out and you don't have it, you literally feel like a failure. You feel like you're not taking your business seriously because they're spending their money on their business. They're investing in themselves. That's what it's called. That's what they call it. You're investing in yourself and you're investing in your business. And again, to a certain degree, yes. But when you're just getting too carried away and you're just spending all your money on it, it has the opposite effect. It doesn't work. So I ended up stepping away from the group chats because I could just see... Um, what was happening and I was like I don't like this it's quite toxic like I said it was a lot of competition um, and I didn't like it um, another thing that upline will do is put out incentives which again is good they'll say whoever makes the most lip gloss sales today will get a free bottle of perfume or chocolates or something um, they do a monthly one so the prize is much bigger sometimes it's a spa day sometimes it's a night away in a hotel sometimes it's a designer bag it can be really really um, expensive gifts um, that you can win if you get top sales um, and again they want you to do this because you're adding to their points you're adding to your uplines points you're adding to your uplines um, commission so she's gonna get paid more so she does everything she possibly can dangling the carrots to get you to get those sales in and if you're not getting them naturally from customers you're just buying it for yourself because you want the bag or you want the spa day so you just end up buying extra stuff and when you look back over the months or years that you've been there, you're just like, all I did was spend my money on the products. So it's really hard to kind of, I don't want to say either way, whether you want to join these companies or you don't. Um, they are not scams in the fact that the products don't really exist or anything like that. What it is, is I think it's the, the uplines. I think it's the people within the teams that sign up for it. They want it. Um, they kind of become quite manic with it. I've had two out of my four uplines have been quite crazy actually. Um, they have like manically, obsessively wanted to get to the top. They want the car, they want everything and they will do anything to get it. That they're kind of like manic and crazy um, and they go on their lives and they're kind of like ranting and um, the whole team's like, oh, you're so amazing. And I'm just looking thinking like, can no one else see the craziness in their eyes? Can no one else see the fact that they haven't slept all night? And, you know, one of the uplines was like, every day, every day I'm up at 6 a.m. and I work out and I this and I that. And it's good, but at the same time, she was so obsessed with it, um, it literally took over her life. And I just felt like she never smiled. Um, she genuinely didn't seem happy. She got this nice big house. She lived there for four years, never did anything to it. Um, and it was just an empty, it was a lovely house, but it was just empty where she literally was so in the zone with her business. She didn't even decorate a house or like, she was so excited to get it. Aren't you gonna decorate? Aren't you gonna put pictures on the wall? She, she was so like, had the blinkers on and all she could focus on was the business where she literally didn't actually have a life, but she couldn't see it. We could see it from the outside looking in or certain people. Um, but she couldn't see it. And I don't apologize for anybody. I'm ambitious, I'm this, I'm that. And to me, I didn't see ambition. I just saw like a crazed, obsessed woman. Um, and again, I saw that with another upline um, who fell out with a lot of people because she would just try any tactics to try and get you to sign up, get the sales in. Um, she would, um, when you first speak to her, when you first sign up, she would try and get to know you um find out your kind of weaknesses so maybe it's oh I'm a single mom you know I've got a young son or maybe it's you know I've just been made redundant and it's almost like she would write notes on it and that was your weakness and so anytime you weren't doing very well she would then oh let's have a quick chat and then she would bring up your weaknesses um and it was almost like emotional, not emotional blackmail, but kind of like this weird game that she would play where she'd like remind you of like, oh, well, your little son won't be getting any presents this year, then will he if you don't do it? And it was like really bad, but she said it, it was very manipulative and it was like as if she's trying to help you, you know, be your best friend, but really she's preying on 
what you what is dear to you um, and to make you feel bad and to make you go oh my gosh you're so right help me and so you would ask for her help um, honestly there's so many stories I'd be here all day <laughs> um, but again this was I've had this with four companies like I say two of the uplines were kind of crazy um, and just obsessed and they say it's like you get time freedom it's passive income Honestly, they spend all day, every day on their laptops and their phones. Like, that's not time freedom to me. If you get a new house and you can't even enjoy it and, like, literally put some pictures on the wall and everything is just, like, literally there's not even any, there's just the basic furniture. You've put not even a plant pot, a vase, a picture, on, like, nothing because you're so obsessed with the business. To me, that's not time freedom. You've just become obsessed with something. Um, and it's because it's never enough. Um, the MLMs, there's so many layers to it. There's so many levels because then it takes you longer to get to. There's not just gonna be one level and you're at the top, you've got the cart, there's so many levels. So they hit one, they, they want more. They hit the next one, they want more. They hit the next one and it's never enough. They become obsessed with it. And that's why it's just not for me. I only ever joined them because I just wanted to sell the products because I loved the look of the products. I didn't want this whole like, I didn't have the hunger to like build a huge team and all of that. If people wanted to join my team, they could. Great, you know, come and come and join. But I definitely was not a hard seller. Um, I definitely um, didn't do cold calling or encourage my team to or anything like that. I did have a team with two. Uh, was it two? With two of the businesses, I had a team. And with the other two, I didn't. I just wanted to sell the products, um, and then I left anyway. Um, but even when I had my team, it wasn't a huge team. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I definitely didn't force them to do anything. Um, but that's more responsibility. Um, and then your upline will say, well, how's your team doing? And then they'd, honestly, once in the group chat, one of the uplines um, literally called someone out in the group chat because they said, you haven't posted a picture. I've just been through your Facebook profile and you haven't p posted anything through the company since the 21st of whatever and it was like three weeks ago, and they literally put them on blast in the group chat and called them out, like, you're saying you want help, and you're struggling, yet, because they were in the group chat saying like, oh, I'm not doing very well, blah, 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 everyone's obviously talking about it, and she went nuts, she was like, I have just looked at your Facebook profile, and you have not posted anything to do with the company since the 21st of blah, 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 three weeks ago, what do you expect? And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, but this is what they do, like if you're struggling, it's kind of your fault, like when you're struggling, you're not doing very well, oh well, well, you know, that's your problem, you obviously haven't bought enough products or you're not promoting it enough or, you know, they say, message your friends, message your family and that's another thing like I refuse to do, I let everybody know that I'm with the companies that I was with, um, but I don't do a hard sell, again, if there's a catalogue, I give them a catalogue, if you want anything, let me know but they encourage you to constantly ask and that's why I see so many MLM people say that they lost friends because it's just non-stop. They want you to literally hound your friends, your family, your neighbour, they're like, go door to door. It's so unrealistic. I'm not, maybe some people do this. I wouldn't go door to door knocking on my neighbours going, I'm selling this, do you want some? Like, it's just not me. Um, but they encourage you like anywhere you are, you should always have the products on you. Talk to anybody, tell them about the business. Like they're literally obsessed. Um, like I said, it does work. If you're wondering, does the car really exist? Yes, it does. Um, do the holidays exist? Yes, they do. Um, but you have to be a certain type of person. You have to do certain things to get them. And like I said, that's not me personally. Um, so hopefully this cleared things up a little bit. Um, maybe it didn't, I don't know. But um, it is a crazy world. Um, it is insane. Um, it's, it's crazy. But if you just want to sell some products and you don't care about building a team and you're not going to get sucked into like, I would say just avoid the group chats, do your own thing um, and just don't plow all your money into it. Like buy a couple of things that you can afford to buy. If you actually want to use them, do it. Um, don't hound your friends and family. Don't cold message. Literally just let it happen. Actually, if someone happens to want to buy your mascara, then sell it to them. But don't hound it. Um, don't hound the people, <laughs> um, basically. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to name the four companies in the in the title of the video um, or in the description or anything. I don't think it's relevant. I honestly don't. I think all of the companies, you know, the products are completely different, but it's the same type of thing. Like I said, um, two of the uplines were actually nice. Um, 
um, still a bit delusional. <laughs> There's only one out of the three that didn't seem like with the head in the clouds. Like the other three seemed a bit just in their own world, basically. Um, but one of them was really down to earth and nice. Um, but again, it depends who your team leader is, who your upline is. Um, another thing is as well, most of the companies, you don't really hear from their CEO. Um, like the first company I joined, the really expensive one, I found it really odd that all the training came from the downline, all the training came from the team members, like, so your upline. Um, and I found that weird. I was like, well, who runs this? Like, it's really strange. But when I went to some other companies, the CEO literally would go on Facebook Live, do videos every week. Um, so I just, did, again, think it depends on what company you have. But two out of the four, I never saw or heard from the CEO or anyone high up in the company. It was literally just team members that would train you up, talk to you about the products. Um, and do all the training videos. CEOs were nowhere to be seen, um, but with a couple of them they were. So again, it just depends on what company you're with. Um, and the company that emailed me as well, they're the ones where I didn't even hear ever from anyone above my own upline. My own upline was doing really well, so he was the one doing all the, tra all the training and everything. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a crazy world. I'm not trying to put anyone off. I'm not trying to get anyone to join. I'm literally just telling it like it is. You can make of it what you will. You can join still if you want to join, but just beware, you know, it can be a little bit crazy and just stay true to you. If you don't want to buy all the products, don't buy them. Don't feel like you have to buy all the products because you don't. Um, and yeah, just have it be authentic and natural to you and kind of keep checking on it and seeing how it's actually going. If you're spending more on the products than you're actually making, there's no point doing it. Um, and if you want the car and you want the luxury life, um, excuse me, and you want to, you know, quit your job, you have to be prepared to build a huge team because that's the only way you can do it. Um, you have to make so much commission to get to the top. The only real way to do that is to have a big team. So if you're not interested in running a team and then having to do training videos for the team, check in with the team, do all of that. If it sounds like too much hassle, then you're not gonna get the car or anything like that. Um, like I said, some of these companies, you don't even hear from the CEO. I feel like they put the products out, they do that, and they leave it up to the whole of the team to just sort it out amongst themselves, which always was strange to me, but then a couple of the companies were always very present within the business, which I definitely preferred. Um, but again, that was just my experience. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, any questions or anything, put them below. Any comments you have, um, put them below. I hope, I, I feel like I was, you know, I was just honest. I don't think I slated anyone. Um, yeah, I was just telling my experience. So do what that with, do with that what you will does that even make sense i'm delirious right now <laughs> dehydrated um but yeah um whatever just be careful if you join one um and if if you feel uncomfortable if maybe you you know your upline's a bit off or something maybe go to a different team if you can or join a different company but you need to be able to gel with your upline because sometimes they really hound you sometimes they really kind of non-stop like if you've had a quiet week, they'll suddenly be in your inbox or suddenly be messaging or ringing you. And again, I didn't like that. It's like, let me do my own thing. Like, I don't need someone hounding me um, like a teacher or like a parent. Like, you've done it wrong. You know, like, I don't want that. And again, that's why I'd never had a big team because I don't want to be that person to other people. I don't want to hound people because they haven't had much sales that week. Like, if they need help, fine. But I'm not going to hound them because they haven't had the sales. Um, yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> but it is real. It's not a scam. It's just a bit, it's a strange one. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully I can't get in trouble from any companies because I haven't named anyone and I haven't, this was the type of video I did before, by the way, it was only about 10 minutes though, I think, um, just about the one company and yeah, they weren't impressed with it. Um, I was just honest so <laughs> um, anyway I will see you all in my next video if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I'm going to do some more videos like this that are more kind of sit down get back on camera again because I haven't done that for ages and do more um, you know just helpful informative videos not just random reviews I'll still do those but I want to do more sit down videos so um, hopefully this video helped you 
I will see you all in the next one. Um, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.